Good morning, seventh grade. This video is for Wednesday, April 1st, and I uh, hope you guys are hanging in there. Today, in uh, something that feels a little bit ironic, you're meant to begin uh, chapter 19 in your writing and grammar books, which is about study skills. And the first thing that they have you read is about developing an interest in school. And it's all about how to be a good student in a classroom. And the reason that that's ironic is because this assignment is for you to do, um, and now you aren't in a classroom. You are kind of at home learning independently at your own pace. But um, there is some interesting things for you to read here to think about what it means to be a student in a class. And then following that, they'll have you um, think about the different parts of a book and how you use those to find information. Um, at this point, this should be a review for you guys, but you'll look through that and then your lesson 19-1 is to practice, looking at a sample um, index, table of contents, appendix, and um, be able to use the information that you find there to answer the comprehension questions. Uh, as you look at your vocabulary book, you're doing more cumulative reviews today to finish out those in the back of the book. Remember that you can go back to the corresponding lesson in the front of the book if you need helps um, to understand or complete it. And I am also a help, so do always feel free to reach out and email me. In your um, reading today, you will have a quiz. The quiz covers the poem we read yesterday, which was about the courage my mother had. And um, a treasure that was left behind and one that wasn't. And today we're going to read about a different kind of treasure, something that happens uh, one summer for a boy named Charles when he goes to see um, his grandmother. So the story is called Uncle Randolph's Buried Treasure. I think it's interesting, um, this story is told by the use of flashbacks, which is a common um, narrative device that authors use in order to help you both understand a character in the current moment and also um, in how they are looking back. I also think um, it sometimes you see authors use a significant object or memory to sort of launch a story. And in this story, we see the author start with this trip um, that Charles takes as sort of the launching point to make um, the bigger story come to life. So as you're reading it, I'd love for you to read the whole thing and then try this, read the whole story. And then once you've read the whole story, go back and read the first paragraph one more time. And I wonder, um, how does that first paragraph take on different shades of meaning, or, does, or do you understand it better, having read the whole story? If you do that, I'd love to hear what you thought, so you can drop me an email. After I, um, I, I'm filming this on Tuesday, and after I get this uploaded and everything set up, I'm going to finish today working on the Google Classroom. So either this afternoon or tonight, you should be getting a link to that. So I hope you'll sign up. And then we'll have a place starting tomorrow, um, perhaps even where you'll see this video, um, where we can uh, communicate a little better and um, have a way for you guys to um, be in touch and share a little more with me about what you're doing at home. Hope you're hanging in there. Take care.